This is Dr. Leo Rozdolsky, and I'm pleased to present to you a brief overview of my latest book, Structure of Fire Loads, Theory and Principles. This is a practical book on structural fire loads for fire prevention engineers, structural engineers, architects, and educators. The goal of this book is to bridge the gap between perspective and performance-based methods and to simplify very complex and comprehensive computer analysis to the point that structural fire loads have a simple, approximate analytical expression that can be used in structural analysis and design on a day-to-day -day basis. The main audience is practicing structural and fire prevention engineers. The scope of the work is broad enough to be useful to participating and research engineers and to serve as a teaching tool in colleges and universities. This book provides both perspective and performance-based procedures for the design of fire-resistant buildings. In addition to providing a good understanding of how fire affects buildings and how to get the desired performance, the book provides guidance for both design professionals and building officials. In the performance-based portion of the book, a means for considering fire as another load is provided. Using this approach, all types of fires, including burnout, can be considered in design procedures. It fills a gap in the technical literature on the subject of fire-resistive design. Chapter 1 introduces the philosophy of structural fire load design and the assumptions that are made in this book in order to achieve the main goal. Provide the temperature, time, relationships that are based on conservation of energy with mass and momentum equations on the one hand and practical and simple formulas for future structural engineers and design on the other. Chapter 2 presents an overview of the main simplified methods of obtaining the structural fire load at the present time. The time equivalence method and the parametric design method. The parametric natural fire model considers the actual boundary conditions of the fire compartment concerning fire load, ventilation conditions, geometry, and thermal properties of the enclosure. These curves have been incorporated into a Swedish standard and have also served as the basis for the parametric temperature time curves of Eurocode 1-1-2 Annex A. It has also an overview of SFPE standard engineering guide standard on calculating file exposures to structures 2011. Chapter 3 provides a review of computer simulations of a design fire, zone and field models. Zone models are relatively simple from a computational point of view and based on the assumption that the temperature in a fire compartment is uniformly distributed into in each zone and a hydrodynamic proportion of burning process is practically omitted. There are many zone modeling packages available now on the market and a summary of available current zone models is presented in this chapter. The field computer model Models are very comprehensive on the, other, on the one hand, but on the other hand they are very complex from a computational point of view and very sensitive to even small changes in input data or any boundary conditions. A summary of available current zone and field models is also presented in this chapter. The principal aim of Chapter 4 is to overcome the two major obstacles of simplifying as much as possible the conservation of energy, mass, and momentum equations in, in case of structural fire load only. In order to achieve this goal, the following assumptions are made. All differential equations, thermal and mass transfer coupled with Navier-Stokes hydrodynamic flow equations are written in dimensionless form. This drastically reduces the total number of parameters in the input data. The equations are simplified to such a degree that solutions will be acceptable and easy to use by a structural engineer. The chemical reaction of the burning process can be drastically simplified and presented as the first order chemical reaction. Dimensionless solution will, will allow to apply the results to our real live fires. Further simplifications are contained in Chapter 5. First, the conservation of energy, mass, and momentum equations are broken up into two parts, similar to zone and FDS models. Conservation of energy and mass on the one hand, and momentum equation, Navier-Stokes equations on the other. Second, the additional simplification has been made because the heat transfer due to radiation plays much more significant roles than the heat transfer due to conduction and convection. Since all differential equations have had dimensionless variables, the solutions are presented in a tabular and analysis analytical forms. Chapter 6 is dedicated to the application of computational procedures developed in the previous chapters to the functional relationship between SFL and opening factor fuel load, fire duration, decay period, geometry of the fire compartment, the comparison with Eurocode parametric curves, and passive fire protection design. Chapter 7 is devoted to the structural response factor and structural analysis and design of various structural systems. Traditional standard structural systems such as beams, simple frames, trusses, and arches subjected to the structural fire load are analyzed and designed. Here are some of these design examples. Simple frame, steel truss design model, steel arch design model, steel joist, steel frame, non-symmetrical loads and spans, 
The information needed to order this book is shown on your screen. Thanks for your interest.